dozens of dozens of plastic surgeries. It's a case of body dysmorphic disorder where they really can't see themselves from the outside. They don't realize how strange and alien they're starting to look. And when that affects someone's daily life or their functioning and they continue to look for repeat procedures, they can end up with a real extreme or distorted look. Body dysmorphic disorder, and this is a psychiatric condition that affects about 1% of the population and probably quite a bit more than that out in Hollywood. These people actually have like an obsession that I think goes much further than like a job requirement. I think that there's like, you know, some kind of mental, psychological issue that's getting worked out with a surgeon's knife. And Alicia is not the only one in the public eye to struggle with body dysmorphia. Jocelyn Lillestein is a good example of what I would consider body dysmorphic disorder. People think of her as being the cat woman. She was married to this very wealthy art dealer. He loved wild cats. So she thought that, okay, if I make myself look like a wild cat, maybe he'll be more attracted to me. And she kept going with it. When you look at pictures of her, she doesn't look like a person, almost like she's wearing a mask. Jocelyn's doctor should hand, have their hands sealed in cement. I mean, that poor woman used to look so pretty and cute. And now she looks otherworldly. Jocelyn's appearance helped make her famous, but extreme transformations like this can also destroy careers. I was doing very well as a model, and then obviously when I started having surgery, I was turning up with black eyes, and then my modeling career basically came to a halt because I'd done so much procedures, I no longer looked like the Elisa DeVal that they were hiring. I looked like Elisa DeVal, the freak show. A danger of too many cosmetic procedures is when it becomes a distraction from the person and their talent. Michael Jackson, who just dipped